Hey guys, it's me Charlie. So these are my button quills. Um, these guys are about two weeks old and um, there's a few in here that are about a week and a half old and then there's a couple of Tibetans which right there is a little Tibetan and that one there's a Tibetan and an Italian golden Paternix and those guys are about four days old. Today's date is August 21st, 2011, and um, I have in here 29 quail, and um, mostly button quails, and then of course these three little paternics. So um, just wanted to do a quick video on the little guys. I just put in some fresh water. I don't tend to fill this all the way up because if I do, sometimes when it gets too hot in here, um, this starts to kind of push water through and it gets overflowed a little bit and it gets too moist in here. I can see a little moisture there. And these guys are in a 10 gallon aquarium still. And I got their um, game bird feed chicken food. And um, I don't, I no longer have to crush it. They do their job of um, crushing it up and eating it in whole pieces. A few of the little ones don't have to. That's a little pied. He's like a silver back. And um, he's got um, silver and white. And then, of course, I got four little pure white ones again. Those come from my original white ones. And over here, I have one, two, three, four, five um, Darth Vader's. And right up front, I have a little Darth Vader here, but he's black and brown with a black face. So I can't wait to see what he grows up to be. And then I have a bunch of little red-breasted. These guys are the ones that have more red on their breast area. And, of course, they're blue. And then there's this one right here that just ran across. That one is actually silver and brown. So kind of like a cinnamon and silver with gold stripes. And they're right in the back. So there's one in the middle, then that little head there, and another little head right behind that white one. And then I've got one silver one right here. Now I'm not sure if this is normal or not. Um, I'm a little... Oh, that's not him. Oh, he's back there. I'm a little disappointed in the silver... Um, He's beginning to show some of the coloring of the silver and cinnamon. So I don't think he's he's a pure cinnamon at all. I'd love to have pure, um, not cinnamon, pure gray ones. So I believe I'm going to have four of the same kind. Even though he started out completely different from his others and other brothers and sisters. They, the three that are kind of silver and cinnamon, they started out kind of, reddish looking as babies and this little one here he started out kind of gray so I thought he was going to be a silver so I'm not sure but he probably if it's a male because he's really little he'll probably carry the silver genetic gene so I'll have some silvers eventually so these guys are already um, sand bathing uh, even though they can't bathe in sand they're bathing in pine chips I do have some sand uh, I'm going to do a quick video on um, some sand that I bought them. So I'll see you guys in the next video.